Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Gold with your daily gold analysis for Tuesday the 3rd of December. I'm recording this video 10 past 4 in the afternoon Eastern Standard Time almost. The new banner picture up for the month of December on both of the websites, Elliott Wave Gold and Stock Market, is New Zealand's Christmas tree. It's a pahutakawa and it blooms in December with beautiful red flowers on the green foliage. So it's quite appropriate for December. At the daily chart level, the main wave count remains mostly the same. I'm expecting still that primary wave 4 is not over. It was probably not over here because if that was the case, it lasted only 9 weeks. And in contrast, its counterpart primary wave 2 lasted 53 weeks. A difference of 9 weeks and 53 weeks is too much for the structure to have the right look on the weekly and monthly chart. So primary wave 4 is probably not over there. This is just either wave A of a flat or wave W of a multiple for primary 4. We have a zigzag in the opposite direction nearing completion, labelled X. If price reaches down to just above 1205, then I will relabel this A, B, C rather than W, X, Y. Because at that stage, this downwards wave would be 90% the length of this upwards wave, and that's a minimum requirement for a flat correction. I'm still expecting more downwards movement. At this stage, the target will remain the same. At 1206, minor wave C would reach equality in length with minor wave A. Within minor wave C, the third wave was extended, it's now over, and we've just started on a fourth wave correction at minute degree. So I've redrawn this channel around this impulse of minor wave C using Elliott's first technique. Draw the first trend line from the end of 1 to the end of 3 on this red candle here. Place a copy on the end of 2. I will expect minute wave 4 to find resistance at the upper edge of this channel. I am copying this channel over to the hourly chart. I will expect minute wave 4 to end within the price territory of the fourth wave of one lesser degree, so above this low and below this high here, or rather below this high here within the price territory. If we see movement outside of this channel, and sometimes fourth waves overshoot these channels, then I will not expect much, if any, movement above this price point here. Minute wave 4 may not move into minute wave 1 price territory above 1306.15. When I know where this fourth wave correction has ended, I will expect I will calculate this target also at minute wave degree, so this target may widen to a small zone or it may change. I will expect downwards movement to find support at this downward sloping blue channel, drawn using Elliott's technique for a correction around this downward sloping zigzag. Minute Wave 2 was a shallow, sideways moving flat correction, just over 36% the length of the first wave. Minute Wave 2 was a regular flat. I'll expect to see some alternation in depth and or structure for this fourth wave. Let's have a look at how it started on the hourly chart with the end of Minute 3 here. Is this point here. The target for downwards movement for this third wave to end was 1212. And we did get further downwards movement to just above 1215, just over $3 short of the target, but this is, this is not where the third wave ends, because this downwards movement here cannot be a fifth wave within minute 3, because it subdivides on the 5 minute chart as a zigzag. So this is where minute wave 3 ends. And so far, this is where minute wave 4 begins, and it looks like it may be unfolding to start off with as a flat correction. Now I have labelled the subdivisions within this movement here, but I also must say at the beginning of this fourth wave correction, there are 13 or actually more than 13 possible corrective structures that it can unfold as. At this early stage, I think the only possibilities which we could possibly eliminate would be a zigzag or a double zigzag. That still leaves several different structural possibilities. As more of this fourth wave correction unfolds and the structure becomes clearer, the labelling in it will probably change. I'm going to label this so far as 535. We have a zigzag here, and then we have a double zigzag trending down, 333. 
So it looks like we have a three wave structure unfolding at the beginning of minute wave 4 and so this may be just wave A or wave W of a combination. So we have a 3, 3, we need a 5 up to complete probably an expanded flat. Now it certainly could be over here, but if that's the case, it's, the C wave would be rather short in comparison to the A wave we, we, when we take into account the depth of the B wave. So I think what's more likely is this is just wave 1 of an upwards impulse unfolding for a C wave, so we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. At 1, 2, 3, 7, subminuet wave C would reach 2.618, the length of subminuet wave A, and that target would allow enough room for upwards movement for the third, fourth, and fifth waves to complete. If we see from this slow on up a five wave structure complete, then we have a 3, 3, 5 expanded flat and then I'll expect a three wave structure downwards for either a B wave of a flat, maybe an expanded flat for minute four providing alternation with the regular flat of minute two, or a three wave structure down for an X wave of a combination for minute four. Both of those possibilities, particularly the expanded flat, must, and an, and an X wave of a combination may make a new price extreme beyond the start of the A wave. So a new low below this point is actually certainly possible and somewhat likely. So all I can say for sure at the start of this fourth wave correction is it's going to be very choppy and overlapping sideways and generally trending upwards movement lasting about four days. The labelling within it is probably going to change over the next couple of days as the structure becomes clearer and I will expect at this early stage for it to most likely end about the 0.236 Fibonacci ratio of minute wave 3 which is at 1242.74. That would see minute wave 4 showing alternation and depth of correction. It would see it probably come to find resistance at the upper edge of the pink channel and it would see it ending within the price territory of the fourth wave of one lesser degree. At the daily chart level this is an alternate instead of primary four being a flat or a combination it could also be a triangle. It could be a contracting or barrier triangle. And within the triangle, the B wave can make a new price extreme beyond the start of the A wave as for a running triangle. So also for this one, there's no lower invalidation point. It is possible for both of the daily wave counts that we could see a new low below this point in the next couple of weeks. For this idea, if we're seeing a triangle unfold, I'd be expecting very choppy, overlapping sideways movement in an ever-decreasing range for a few weeks, maybe even a couple of months. So that extended third wave is now over, and the fourth wave has recently begun. It's going to be very choppy, overlapping and sideways, most likely to end about the 0.236 Fibonacci ratio, most likely to be contained within that pink channel on the daily chart and as more structure unfolds and we get a clearer picture of which of the 13 possible corrective structures it is, the labelling is probably going to change. Within it, it could most certainly include a new low. That's all for me today with your gold analysis and I hope that all our members are having a fabulous day.